Hello everybody and what is going on? So today I thought it would be a good idea to do another how I style video, particularly on vintage jeans. Now in my last lookbook video, I got a lot of positive comments on my vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans and I got those vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans from the vintage clothing market in Shoreditch. There's a lot of vintage going on there. But when I got these jeans, I had a sneaking suspicion that they might be women's jeans. And it was later confirmed that they are indeed women's vintage jeans. So how do I deal with this new information? How did I address this startling revelation? By buying more women's vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. And there's a good reason for it. These particular jeans are boyfriend jeans. I'm the boyfriend. These are the jeans your boyfriend wears. They're mine now. But in all seriousness, in my personal opinion, I believe that there is no difference whatsoever to these women's vintage jeans to men's vintage jeans. In this video, we're focusing more on the fits rather than who they're made for. So with all that out of the way, Let's continue with the how I style vintage jeans straight and slim fits. So firstly, we're going to focus on the jeans themselves and how I style them from top to bottom. Now with all my jeans, even if I don't need a belt, I always wear a belt specifically a leather belt. Now this particular belt that I have here is black and brown at the same time. It's got one of those like little reversible buckles, which is pretty cool. So even if I feel I don't need a belt, I always put one on there just to give it an extra component to divide the top half of your outfit to the bottom half of your outfit. Now on the bottom half of my jeans, I always do one of two things. I either always cuff my jeans or pin roll my jeans. Especially with vintage jeans, I can never really get the length that I want, especially that I'm quite sure I'm five at seven so cuffing the jeans or pin rolling the jeans is a really big help getting the shape that you want and the length so no matter what outfit I'm wearing I'm always wearing a belt and I've always cuffed or pin rolled my jeans so for the very first pairing of the vintage jeans I want to show you is a very clean basic simple look it is the tucked in plain white t-shirt. Now, if you frequent my videos, you will know how versatile I think basic plain white t-shirts are. They've been around since the dawn of time and they will go with pretty much 99% of any outfit you can think of. So this particular t-shirt that I have here is just a basic Supreme Hanes shirt that you get in a pack of three and it goes really well tucked in to a vintage pair of jeans, especially with the belt there in place just to divide the two. It's super casual and timeless and if you tuck in a t-shirt into a pair of jeans, you probably automatically think of an old photo of your dad in the 80s, which is the look we're going for, so that's all right. So the tucked in plain white t-shirt is a staple look in a vintage outfit for me, especially when it's a little bit baggy. Now I say that because I generally believe that a slim or tight fitting t-shirt paired with the vintage jeans doesn't give it that vintage look. It's a whole different look altogether. So if you get like an oversized top or a large top tucked in to be paired with your vintage jeans, for me, that's automatic vintage, automatic 80s, time machine. And that is the first pairing that I would put with the vintage jeans. Now for the second look, still keeping it casual, still keeping it vintage. For my second look, I would pair vintage jeans with a stripy t-shirt such as this one. Now this particular shirt I got from a thrift store quite a while ago now. The colors on this shirt are quite faded which I'm not really complaining about it just adds character but I think pairing this with vintage jeans works really well this particular t-shirt I would wear untucked simply because this t-shirt hasn't got a lot of length so it may look a bit starved if you tuck it in but I believe that this is a super cool t-shirt to wear with vintage jeans just going back to that casual vintage look to that late 80s fresh Prince of Bel-Air looking outfit cool looking stripes stripes all over the place cool collar to divide your neck from the actual shirt and because this shirt is a little bit faded a little Little bit pale it meshes really well together with the vintage jeans as if someone picked you up from a Polaroid photograph but if you want the top end of the outfit to stand out a little bit more we have a solution for that we'll just wear a stripy t-shirt with some more prominent colors such as a darker blue and a red and some white stripes in the middle just to divide it all now again I believe that this keeps in theme with the vintage look that we're going for this particular top is a Lee Cooper also got it from the thrift store you're gonna see a lot of thrift items in this video by the way but yeah if you want to switch it up a little bit with your stripes a little bit more bold with the colors. It may look a little bit boyish, but it's all about having fun. Here on this particular t-shirt, you've got a small Lee Cooper logo on the front here, and then you've got your massive block colors of blue and red and white in the middle. Same on the front as the back, stripes going everywhere. It's a solid look. Now for the next look to pair with the vintage jeans is something that's still keeping in theme with the vintage theme. But if you want to stray from the casual look into the smart casual look, then I've got the perfect thing right here. We have the green and white pinstripe long sleeve shirt. Now you'll never guess where I got this one from. 
the thrift store. But this stripy top is a little bit more versatile than the last two tops, simply because you can pair this with your vintage jeans, tucked in or untucked. The pinstripes really give it that nice vintage feel to it, late 80s I would say. Absolutely solid look, you can wear this out to like a garden party or a family function, or wherever really. They say there's no such thing as being overdressed. So I believe this works with the vintage jeans, complements the outfit really well, breaks up the outfit by itself with the cool pinstripes. Almost got a slight professional look to it as well. You got your pocket at the front here to put all your bits and bobs I suppose. All stripey at the front, all stripey at the back. Stripes going this way, stripes going that way, stripes going diagonally, stripes for days. And that's the third look. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, well I'm a bit tired of the late 80s now, want to change it up a little bit. Well don't worry about it because I've got you covered. If you're done with the late 80s, what about the late 90s? Flannel shirt. So I believe that this flannel shirt goes well with the vintage jeans, especially now that it's on trend. And it's just something different to pair with the vintage jeans themselves. There's a lot going on in this flannel shirt, a lot of colours, a lot of overlapping in the designing pattern itself. Got your pocket to put your bits and bobs in. Button, 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 buttons. This shirt will look really well buttoned and unbuttoned. I would not tuck this shirt in though, simply because I believe that flannels should have that laid back casual look to them. But it is definitely a viable look, especially if you want to go for the late 90s sort of era. Some shirts just work really well and this is one of them. Now for the next outfit, we're going to go back to the simple clean look with this plain grey palace sweater. Now, a grey sweater is a lot like the plain white t-shirt in a sense that it goes with a lot of different looks. Now, I chose this sweatshirt over other basic shirts simply because it's got slight palace hits and the sweatshirt itself is broken up with a little bit of white, which I think is a really nice touch. So even though I class it as a basic grey sweater, it still shows a little bit of character with the palace hits. Just giving it that nice, clean, casual look. Pairs really well with the straight and slim jean look. This one is a size XL because it's the only one that they had left in store but it works really well as an oversized sweater plus it's palace gang gang so for the next look we're still keeping it clean simple and casual with this olive slash khaki green looking sweatshirt I got this from H&M with a totally different outfit in mind but this goes really well with the vintage jeans especially if you want to break your outfit into two distinctive colors denim blue and green I believe that these two colors go really well together super comfortable to wear you can pass it off as casual or smart casual maybe wear a nice jacket over it. It's just a nice solid look. So for the next outfit we're gonna go a little bit more out there and experiment a little bit with this blue ombro fleece material sweatshirt. Now I believe that this is a really cool look putting two different shades of blue in the same outfit. I believe the colors really meld well together complement each other. You've got a nice warm material on your top end and a nice breathable fit on the bottom end. No fart jokes. This particular sweatshirt has subtle hits of ombro. One on the front and one on the bottom of the neck on the back. It also heads back into a little bit of a vintage look, maybe early 2000s or late, late 90s. But it works really well with the vintage jeans and I think it does really well bringing sportswear and vintage wear together. Solid combination, gang gang. And the last look I have to show you today, the last thing that I would pair with the vintage jeans would be a plain white t-shirt accompanied by a palazzo light blue shell suit top. Now the reasoning behind this is that in the early 2000s there would be like a lot of boy bands on the TV sporting shell suits such as this. You could say it's a little bit corny but if you have this unzipped it actually does look really cool. Something a little bit different, something that's a little bit out there, a lot more noticeable. Again we've got two different shades of blue. You've got your light blue and your denim blue on the bottom. I wouldn't say that this is smart casual but it's definitely a look that you could wear out. Now you could also wear is zipped up for more of a block look. Got your subtle hits of palace there so you can't go wrong. All blue in the front, all blue in the back. Instant classic, pally pally gang gang. Also with the vintage jeans, especially with the straight slash slim fits, I would either be wearing a pair of Adidas Superstars or a pair of Nike GTSs something low top just so you can emphasize the fit. Just to show off that it's nice and baggy at the top tape it at the bottom, emphasize the form, and just to tie it all together really nicely in a neat little package. And that is how I would style straight and slim vintage jeans. Also, let me know what was your favorite look in this video, and also what would you pair with vintage jeans in the comment section down below. And that is everything. If you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see more of what I do, because I do a lot of fashion-based stuff, lifestyle-based stuff, and style-based stuff, then you can by using a subscription subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this web page and now that is everything bye
What do you think of Raph Simmons? Now, I absolutely love the Raph Simmons shoes. Absolutely love the Stan Smith collaborations. I don't actually know that much on Raph Simmons and high fashion brands, which I should probably get to know seeming I'm meant to be like a fashion style YouTuber person.